first things first, we're going to need to make ourselves a model on your 3D printer. Now that we have our model off the printer, we can go ahead and distress the surface to bring out all the iron particles to the surface. Now that we have our surface nicely distressed and we've brought some of the metal particles to the surface, we can come along with some rubber cement and dab it around the model in a couple of places where we want rust to be showing through when the model's complete. Next step is, we're gonna wait for this stuff to dry, but we don't have that kind of time. So, I made one earlier. Now your next step is gonna to be to paint the model with the paint of your choice. In this case, I'm just using some Grammy Black model paint in a jar. You can also airbrush it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the whole concept here is we're just trying to cover the model so that way when we come along and remove the rubber cement, we've got ourselves a pre-painted model. It'll look pretty cool. All right, now that we have our model painted, we can set it aside and let it dry. That said, once your model has dried from the painting department, you can come along and rust the surface up using a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, salt, and vinegar, and wrap the model up in a paper towel like this. So when you're done and you unroll it, you'll see that, oh gee, we got ourselves a model. But I forgot to mention a step by accident. To get the model so that you have the rusty patches, you need to rub off the rubber cement. Do that before you wrap it up in the paper towel or absolutely nothing is gonna happen and you're gonna go, gee, that was a waste of time. You're going to want to leave your model inside the paper towel for anywhere from about a couple hours to a day or more. And then you can get an effect somewhat like that. So that is the basics of how I get a model to have splotchy resting on it using rubber cement. Just remember that wherever the rubber cement is, is where you're going to have rust on the finished model. And rub the rubber cement off before you go to weather it. So that way you can actually expose the stuff you're trying to weather. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Make It With Calvin. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with your friends. If you want to keep track of what I'm doing between episodes, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I have links in the description down below. So until next time, have fun and stay safe.